Hey St. Anselm Parish, it's Tom. I'm your communications guy. You might recognize me from other videos shot from my garage saying that we're online, how to stream, and all sorts of other funny stuff, including the basketball awards party. I'm here today to tell you about our website and how St. Anselm is online. We've got a website, we've got a Facebook page, and we have a YouTube channel. Not many people know about that. Now you do. So anyway, we're going to jump right into it and show you in this video what's going on on our website because we're trying to reach everybody. We want you to have the tools to find us in case you missed an announcement. So let's just shrink me down so I'm tucked away in this little box here. All right, and we just bring up a browser. What's our website? I bet if I gave you three guesses, you'd get it in probably one or two. But let's go with the obvious. How about stanselm.com? So if I just type that in, S-T-A-N-S-E-L-M.com. Looks like stanselm.com. Will it work? It will work. Don't worry about www's. Don't worry about HTTP. Just type in stanselm.com and you're there. That's our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at different things on our website where you can quickly find what you need to know uh, in case you missed an email or there might have been something on Facebook. I don't know. Someone was talking about something. Always come to the website. This is the place to be. So the most obvious, the most important thing is our welcome page, our little welcome block here. We put all the latest news here. If there's going to be an announcement, we're going to put it here. So where do we start? We start here saying that we're celebrating Mass. We're celebrating Mass every week in person, one time Saturday, one time Sunday. 5.30 p.m. Saturday, 11 a.m. Sunday. Now, in order to have Mass, we have to make sure we follow our rules in terms of COVID preparation. And we have a link here to our COVID information page. We put this together over the summer using information and resources from the diocese, from the state, uh, best practice suggestions from the medical community, and what we thought was best to keep everybody safe. Um, so... You can go through that, check out all the different things we've done. We swapped out the chairs for the plastic chairs so they're easier to clean. Everything is spaced out. If you want to move your chair a little farther away from someone else, you can do that. That's fine. We want everyone to feel comfortable and safe if you can come to Mass. You know? And there's plenty of information there to read. Um, but again, it's all with safety in mind. So we're just going to kind of push through the welcome page because it has all the relevant and important information in here. If you do not feel comfortable coming to Mass in person, that's okay. We want everyone to feel safe. Uh, we want everyone to be comfortable and we're trying to accommodate in best ways we can. So what we're doing, if you look here in our next block, we are live streaming. So if you have Facebook, and I'll get to Facebook later, you can go to our Facebook page and there will be a live stream. And that is of the Saturday Mass at 5.30. I usually start the stream around 5.25 so you can get the notification on your phone or your laptop or your Chromebook or your tablet or whatever it is that you're using. And then you can get settled in and comfortable and be in a proper place where you can focus on celebrating Mass with us. Um, if that time does not work for you, we will post a recording of it on YouTube. And we'll also put that link here. So right now, if you were to click the word here, you would get taken to our YouTube page, our YouTube channel, and it would be the Saturday 5.30 Mass. If for some reason I cannot record this onto a laptop or whatever, the recording on Facebook will still be on our Facebook page. And I'll just put that link here under the word here. So you always know where to look. It's right here. So it'll be there. So there's, I hope to see a lot more people clicking in, making a comment um, on Facebook, liking, subscribing, et cetera, et cetera. But we'll go over the social media later. Right now, our focus is the website. So let's just stick with that. So if we go through here, um, right here in the middle, uh, I have to be brutally honest with you. Um, we have to feature um, our online giving. Even though there's not as many programs going on as there have been in the past, 
reduced mass opportunities, a lot of reduction. The, the physical building is closed uh, in general for most of the week. Um, we still have electricity and heating and water and insurance. We don't want frozen pipes and things like that. So um, if you can, because we know these are troubling times, these are tough for people when it comes to jobs, if you can still support the parish, please do so. Um, we have the giving portal, which is we share online. We also have the opportunity to do a, like a bill pay. So personally, I arranged something with my bank where a check will be delivered to St. Anselm for whatever I'm comfortable giving. So there's ways to do it. Um, and, you know, we appreciate all the support that we have had over the years and especially in the last 10 months. Can you believe it's been 10 months? Um, we appreciate everyone that is able uh, to support us. Um, and we're just, we're just holding on until we're all vaccinated. And, and you know that we're going to have a, a rip roar in time once we're all back fully 100%. Um, so moving right along, again, this is just our welcome page. Um, if there's going to be news, it's going to be here. Um, made an update to our, some of our baptism details because, um, hey, we're all quarantined together. Who are we to judge? And that's about as blue as this whole recording is going to go. But if you need to baptize a new bundle of joy, we have information here. And then here is a uh, shameless, shameless plug for me. If you're getting those really clever and informative emails, um, that's great. If you're not, please let me know. And how will you let me know? Well, I'm not going to give you my phone number, but if you email communications at stanselm.com, I'll be the one to pick it up and I'll make sure that your email address is added to our list. We've downloaded email addresses, built up a list. We, I think, cleaned up the bad addresses, you know, the typos and whatnot. But if you're not getting it, I don't know that you're not getting it. You have to let us know. So I haven't sent anything since before Christmas. There were maybe two or three before Christmas. And if you didn't get anything then, uh, please let me know. Shoot an email. We'll get you on the list. We'll figure it out. Maybe there's something wrong with the spam filters in your email. Maybe it's in the, in the trash. You deleted it. Whatever. No judging here. Uh, we all get a lot of emails, but I want to make sure that you're getting what's relevant from, from us. And we're not going to send, I should say I, I'm not going to send a ton of emails. I'm only going to send it when it's time for a big announcement of some kind. An example of that would be what we're going to do about the Easter season, uh, because we still need guidance from the diocese on that in terms of services, what's going on with Ash Wednesday, what's going on with Easter week. Uh, we all have to figure that out. Um, and when it's time, we will definitely put it here on the website. It'll be in our welcome. It'll be one of the top things to tell everybody, uh, and, and it'll be there. And then I'll put out a blast email. We'll also put it on social media, uh, the, on the Facebook page, maybe a parish app blast. Um, you didn't know? We have a parish app. So if you didn't know, or if you know but don't have it, um, we can take a look at that real quick. You can install it on your phone, whether you have an Android or an iPhone. And there's a little link here on the word here. I like using the word here. So where do I click? You click here and it takes you there. So here we have We Connect Parish app. And when you go on it, you'll be able to read it a little better than looking at the video right now. It'll say, you know, text a certain number, a certain word to a certain number, and you'll get the install link, and it'll work. I have it on my phone, and we usually use this for periodic announcements. We do not use it daily. You would get one as if to say, oh, hey, uh, mass is canceled because we had a snowstorm, or there is no mass because there's no power, which happened on Christmas because we had that windstorm blow through. Uh, I didn't have power here at my house, and the church didn't have power. But that would be a case where someone with power would have to get on the app and send out a blast and say what's going on. I use the app, and I send out um, a reminder on Sunday morning that a recording of last night's Mass is now online. And I give a link, and it's right there, trying to make it as easy as possible for you. So that's the Parish app. So, like I said, our website... 
is the place to start. Where do we want, uh, where are we going to go to get our information? StAnselm.com. It should be there front and center. Now, if you know you're looking for something specific, you can go through some of these menu items here. And we are not going to go through all of these. This is not going to be a 40-minute PowerPoint presentation. But I want to highlight one or two little things here. Because our church building is closed, building is closed, the church is never closed. Church is everywhere. But the building is closed, so we're not accepting any donations for food drives or any sort of clothing drives or things like that. But the way to get clever with it, um, we did for Christmas. We had a virtual drive, and we used links on Amazon Smile. And we were promoting it. I was sending out some emails. It was on our website, on the main page. But what we did was the human concerns and social justice people put together some links for different charities. And we used Amazon Smile. And these links would take us to a particular charity. Missionaries of Charity, Asbury Park, the center in Asbury, a pediatric subspecialty, Mercy Center, Jason's Dreams, et cetera, et cetera. There's like 10 different things here. And you were able to get something and have it sent directly. Now, you heard me say Amazon Smile and not Amazon. If you use Amazon, you need to go to smile.amazon.com so then you can pick a charity, and the charity is St. Anselm Church. And when you buy something, a couple pennies, nickels, quarters, whatever, goes towards St. Anselm. So even if you're shopping for something personally for yourself or you're buying something for a charity, if you do it through Amazon Smile, you're also supporting St. Anselm. So that's always a good thing. I think I supported Smile when I bought a, an outdoor heater a couple of weeks ago for my, my back deck. Um, but that's, that's a good thing to have. And like I said, we had that here. If we're going to do any sort of drive in the future for whatever group, um, you know, we're going to do it this way until we can get back to normal. And we will get there. Uh, but for now, we have to be a little virtual and creative and get it done. So again, going back to the website, all sorts of things across the top. You can look at the different groups. You can look at events real quick. If we had events going on, you can click on events and our calendar looks kind of barren. Um, you know, we'll fill it in when we got stuff, but that's where we would have all the events. You know, this group's meeting, that group's meeting, we put it all there. Um, also under events, we had photos. So if you want to, you know, get a little taste of nostalgia, like, oh, remember the good old days when things were going on at St. Anselm? Oh, we got confirmation photos, parish picnics. Oh, there's, there's Good Friday and Easter from 2018. Oh, there's Mike Zorner. Oh, I miss the music. You shouldn't miss the music because it's online. You can hear it all the time. Anyway, we have photos and stuff here. Um, also under events, that's where we had the Christmas registration. Uh, we had the links to register because we had to manage capacity. If we have something like that for Easter, you can expect it to be here. And of course, on the main page, you know, newsflash, register for Easter. But we'll, we don't know what's going on for Easter. We will let you know when we know. And then lastly, in its own header item here, the COVID-19 update, where you can see all the different rules and suggestions and things that are going on. Hopefully, you know, you feel well, you can come, you can be, you have to be masked. We have hand sanitizer, blah, blah, blah. We're cleaning the church. We had a professional cleaning job done to, to before we even reopened. So we're doing all the right things to keep everyone safe for those who are comfortable coming. Uh, but if you're not, there's always virtual. So anyway, in conclusion, this is the website. Always come here. If you want to know something, start at the website and it'll take you where you need to go. And if you have any questions about the website, you could always send an email to who? To me at communications at stanselm.com. And I'll give you some pointers. I'll walk you through it. Um, if you need to reach the parish, you know, right up here on the top, there's some contact information here. Um, call the parish office. There's usually someone in the office during normal business hours during the week, uh, squeeze down hours, but, um, you know, you know, we're there, so, you know, someone's there. So our website is the place to start to get all your information. Um, and hopefully 
you know, you, you now know a little bit more about um, where to get the information and how to stay informed. Um, again, if you have any questions, reach out to me, raise your hand, you know, we're here to help. Um, there'll be a couple more videos after this one, uh, going through our social media and some other details. And so we can get things to pop up on your phones and you can be, you know, show off to your, your, uh, your millennial kids or millennial grandkids, uh, to say, Hey, look, I'm watching live streams and stuff. We don't have TikToks or any cool stuff like that. You know, it's, a little bit much for me. I don't even know how to really use TikTok unless someone says, look at it. And I look at it and then I turn it off. So anyway, saintanselm.com. That's our website. That's the place to be. And uh, hope you're looking forward to the next video. Thanks.